Hello. In this video, we will cover onboarding of a new end user company for a self service backup in a Cronus Backup as a Service. In this scenario, the end user will get administrator privileges that will allow creating backup accounts for their company and its units, as well as managing backup and recovery operations on their own. Whenever you sign up a new end user company, a new group shall be created in the user account hierarchy. Click the Add button at the bottom of the group's pane. Specify the end user company name in the name field. Select the end user company type. Choose the respective language. Specify the respective storage location. Set optional quotas. For example, the maximum number of physical workstations, servers, or virtual machines that the particular end user will be allowed to back up or the amount of storage available for that particular company. Provide the information of your major contact in the company including full name, email address, and phone number. Press create to finish the process. Here is the summary of all the steps you have to take to create a new end user company group. If you'd like to provide the particular end user with the privilege to create and manage groups or backup accounts for their company and its units, you will need to grant them administrator rights. To do so, open your new end user company group created and switch to the administrators tab. Click the add button at the bottom. Provide the contact information of the person at the end user company you would like to grant administrator privileges to, including first name, last name, and email address. Enable or disable notifications that the new administrator might get. Backup notifications will include the emails on the backup statuses for all the machines and group this administrator will have access to. And business notifications will inform about the quotas and the limits being exceeded by this or that end user. If you'd like to grant administrator permissions to someone else, check this checkbox and it will open a new administrator creation form upon completion. Every group in the user account hierarchy may have as many administrators as needed. Finish the process by clicking the Add button. Activation emails similar to this will be sent to the address provided. The newly created administrator will need to confirm his rights by pressing this activation link. Here's the summary of all the steps you have to take to create a new administrator in your end user company group. In order to start backing up, the newly added administrator has to create at least one backup account in this group. To do so, the administrator has to log into the Acronis Backup as a Service using his credentials. Then, switch to the Backup Accounts tab and click the Add button at the bottom. Provide the contact information of the person at their company responsible for this backup account, including first name, last name, and email address. It might be one of the IT staff members or department managers. Set the optional quotas, such as the backup storage quota and the maximum number of machines the particular backup account is allowed to back up. Enable or disable the notifications. Finish the process by clicking the Add button. Here is a summary of all the steps the administrator at the end user company side has to take to create a new backup account in their company group. As you can see, it's straightforward, intuitive, and can be done within a couple of moments. Thank you, good luck, and goodbye.